Hello Wastelanders, Vlad here. Today I have a special video for you. I am here with Lucy from Lucy Jane Plays and we had ourselves a friendly building competition to make tiny homes with a few rules. We'll go over those as we do the showcase and Lucy's going to give us some insight on her building choices as I look at those today and you can check out mine over on Lucy's channel. So without further ado, Lucy, take it away. Let's jump on in. Okay, everybody, I'm here with Lucy, and we're going to do a walkthrough of her tiny houses and uh, get some thoughts on her build choices. So, Lucy, let's uh, start the tour. Okay, I will start with the most simple. This I, I kind of did this partly. I really just wanted to use the yellow door. I'm in a real yellow mood at the moment because it's so cheerful. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I wanted something to build something simple that other people could even beginners could sort of build. Um, I use the contemporary set. Mm -hmm. It's not double walled. Yeah, I like this one because it's open. You can still move around mm. even though it's tiny. Yeah. And then our build yeah. build challenge was that it had to have a bed and a cooker. So each one of these is uh, two foundations with a bed and a cooker uh, at minimum. And uh, from there, design choices are up to the builder. So, I just wanted to do something simple. I mean, I kind of think about, I kind of think, hmm, who would live in a house like this? So this, this is a single woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's quite tidy. <laughs> yeah, like everything's me. organized. <laughs> Um, I put my, I think I put my cooking stove in all of my tiny houses because it just looks cute. And uh, if yeah. you haven't seen this stove before, I did a tutorial on how to do this on the house at Bridge End, I think is what I called it. So have a look at that if you want. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I like the way these look. They, they don't take up a ton of space and they look mm. usable. So <laughs> yeah. So camper van we have next. Now, this one you surprised I... me with. I was not expecting a camper van when I came to visit. <laughs> you did a caravan, though, so, yeah. I mean, you... I came up with, I, I think you saw this before you built the caravan, so. Yeah, yeah. it this inspired was... me because this... I built a trailer mm. before, and I was mm. like, oh, well, mm. I could do a, a caravan. Uh, but mm. you, you re-inspired re me to revisit mm. that. I would love to actually spend some time just working on um, one of these. I mean, I did this quite quickly. There's not as much detail in it as I would like, to be honest. Um, I mean, these lights are actually floating. <laughs> <laughs> but it was actually building it here on this road was a nightmare because it's really uneven. And there is also one of the reasons I used to build here a lot is before we worked out that you could use a pressure plate, there is a merge spot here, so if I moved this merged dumpster here, it would part of it would, uh, or here, <laughs> if I picked it up and put it down, it would it would sort of you know part of it would pop up. So it was very annoying. Okay, yeah, I, you can, enough. especially when you're trying you can, to merge already. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I know, but it's kind of merging the wrong way, so it's over merged. You can sit in these, but yeah, I was going to say, you can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember you telling me that before. <laughs> hmm. I can... Um, <laughs> could you make me I a can, chair or a bench? Or I could, yeah, I could lift the... But I'll make you, I'll make you a chair. <laughs> if I Pull can. myself out of here. But yeah, I like that you can sit in it. Um, I don't know how many people you'll catch doing this. <laughs> Can you reach that chair from there? Which, oh, let's see. Uh, nope. <laughs> Not quite. Wait, actually, okay. my HUD's off, so I can't really tell. Oh, right, yes. Let me. Lucy captures Vlad. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and with some camp magic, we are out of our predicament. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look on the inside of this thing because... I wanted that's... to make it quite austere looking on the outside and then just go a bit crazy with the colors on the inside and sort of make it really kind of pop, as it were. All right, so we got two levels here. We got our kitchen mm -hmm. as we walk in, and then mm -hmm. we kind of got a, 
what we like to call a mom's attic type thing, I mean, which is over I the uh, the cabin of the uh, yes. the truck for our sleeping area. This and is my then, fish ladder. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, it might be a little slippery. Yeah, no, I don't think they're <laughs> real fish. <laughs> no, I made it. You can't. If you've got your hood off, you won't be able to tell. I made it so that you can actually access the sleeping bag from down here if you want to use it. But the other thing that occurred to me was that um, if you wanted, I, I put the um, roofs in such a way that if you just change them to the upright position, it means you can actually get up there if you want to access okay. things. And, you know, a lot of campers we do, have a do this with line, their roofs, yeah. so that's kind of good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was kind of the idea. So, so okay. yeah, I like it. It's fun. Yeah, I like this one, too. Uh, very mm -hmm. unique idea for the uh, for the outside build and incorporating mm -hmm. the, the vehicle into it. So, mm -hmm. This was actually um, when you and I were talking about doing one on, on one footprint with... Um, with like an out out with a porch, uh, porch one yeah. one porch yeah mm -hmm. so um i kind of feel like i could have got more on the porch but i was pretty much running out of budget <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i'm not sure we can both fit in there so i think you'll have to go in on your own all right so seating over here when we come in and i see a ladder over here on the wall and we've got our mm -hmm. kitchen area and then up Above us is a loft. That's where our stairs are going. And we've mm -hmm. got a, a little bedroom up top here in the loft. Mm-hmm. Awesome. No, I like this one. Um, again, you've got able to save space with this one-by-one one footprint mm. for putting the bed yeah. above the mm -hmm. uh, doorway. So. Yeah. I used an offset, half-offset roof to do that. It also yeah, gave I me space outside to put the light yeah. stuff. And it makes that nice little awning for your front door. So mm -hmm. it's very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Shall we go look at your favorite? Yeah. When I originally built this, I actually put the um, white cement block wallpaper on it. But mm -hmm. for some reason, it made me think it looked like a public toilet. So. <laughs> uh, you you risked that when you build a tiny <laughs> with... Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So I like the shape and I do like your mm -hmm. little... Uh, garden potted plants up here at the mm. upper part of the roof mm. i had to do this because the um front porch is only half mm -hmm. half a tile and it meant that you couldn't put a slope roof on that would fit properly um so you had you'd have a gap okay I well found. i think it looks so, nice Mm -hmm. So I tried to make a feature of it. <laughs> <laughs> worked that well. Uh, the ele yeah, the elevator door worked really well with these sort of greys. Um, mm -hmm. See if I can open it. There we okay. go. Well, you go have a look in. So here we go. All right. So we got a bit of a slightly different kitchen here. We've got, but mm -hmm. these are terminals merged together, which yeah. is a bit of a pain in itself. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's just the way yes. those things work. With the lights yes. there on the front for cabinet door handles. Yes, I stole that idea off you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the, the flask there. Is that supposed to be an actual flask or a teapot? Um, this one, I always use the Assaultron. The Assaultron, um, that's the Assaultron coffee pot. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I so, thought you were using it as. Yes. So It, it always it, looks like a coffee pot to me. It, I don't it know why, but... Yeah. <laughs> So this is sort of, you know, an urban single person. Maybe, you know, mm -hmm. the next phase of Watoga would have been, you know, single pods. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this one's laid out well because you got the kit. You still have plenty of space to move around mm -hmm. and access mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So I like it. It's uh, it's very yeah. nice. And the the walls fill are filling in. I like the this is hot taller over here. You don't get claustrophobic. Mm. Yes. And also you can see the plants as well through the window. And oh. If you're lying on the bed and look up, you can see the plants. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Oh, um, well, I yeah, really like the, this one. I only got the black terminals a couple of days ago, so I'd already built and decorated this when I put them in. I think if I was going to, I'd I'm going to try and do another terminal kitchen with this black set. I have done a terminal kitchen. I'm going to do a more complicated terminal kitchen. But yeah, if you are going to do this, build that before you do anything else. Trying to do it when in a very small space that's fully furnished is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I, with some of my tiny houses, I had to rebuild them several times. Uh, build mm, order yeah. does mm. come in important with mm -hmm. Fallout 76, unfortunately. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks, Lucy. I appreciate you sharing me uh, all these details. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. I hope you enjoyed Lucy's Teeny Tiny Houses. If you want to get in on the fun, then make sure you follow the rules. Two foundations, cooking station, and a bed. From there, it's up to your imagination. Share them with us on Fallout, or not Fallout, but uh, Twitter or Facebook with the hashtag fallout 76 teeny tiny that's going to be a hashtag on this video so you can copy it and you can also share them on lucy's discord and you can uh, follow the link in the description to join that if you would like to and and join the community and if you want to see my builds make sure you check out lucy's channel and uh, she has showcased them all there these are absolutely great so please check that out <laughs> <laughs> well, yes please do and thank you lucy for the compliment so everybody, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest content from Vlad Administrator Gaming. Until next time, I'll see you in the wasteland.